Florida portal in Philadelphia about to go live and connect us with another part of the world. We are in Love Park with the excitement leading up to that launch. Parks and Rec, hello, hello. The incredible team at Parks and Rec. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Slauson. Thank you for our park rangers, our PPD, and everyone makes this space shine. I am Michael Numis, the 2026 director for the city of Philadelphia, working under Mayor Sherelle L. Parker to ensure we have the greatest and grandest celebration for America's 250th birthday in just a few years. The semi quincentennial isn't just an event, it's a chance to shape our future through bold ideas. And what bolder idea than recognizing that unity is far, far surpasses division? Today, I'm so thrilled to announce the arrival of a global symbol of unity, the portal here in Philadelphia's iconic Love Park. This is so much more than just art. It's a global conversation starter. It's a building bridges instead of walls. And with today's launch of the portal, Philadelphia is not just the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia is the city of global love. As you can see, the portal offers something truly special. What may seem like a simple camera is actually a gateway, a direct connection to cities, to peoples, to cultures across the world. And how fitting that this arrives as we prepare for America's 250th anniversary, as we reflect on the past, and the portal offers a glimpse into the future and what's possible. You know, and yes, like the Liberty Bell, like the Liberty Bell, there is a small crack, but that glass is not going to stop us in Philadelphia from making history through this incredible, beautiful portal. And we really do invite you to be a part of it. Isn't this incredible? That's right. Speaking of history, as people interact with the portal in Love Park, I just want you to take note that they will see behind them some incredible, beautiful murals by Mural Arts encouraging folks to get out the boat on November 5th. Uh, and what a perfect time for that, for that message. You know, in closing, and on behalf of Mayor Sherelle Parker, and of course with us today is our honorary consulate, Chris Navarre, who's been an incredible partner to the city of Philadelphia. Incredible, representing Lithuania. Which is on the screen now. Which is on the screen now. Please bring it over. Thank you, Consulate General. This is such an honor. What a beautiful flag. What a beautiful symbol of unity. There's so many groups we want to thank, including, including our Consulate General, including the incredible leaders at Portals.org, particularly Joe Callahan and Gargiles, for this generous, generous gift that came at no cost to the city of Philadelphia. And it also involved the Flat Iron Nomad Partnership. The great philanthropist and civic leader, Martha Snyder, uh, but so many other partners are involved, and particularly our incredible, incredible labor unions. The construction of this portal with Love Park was generously supported by Rebel Trucking and Ribbing, Ribbing, and I believe some of our members are right behind us, these gentlemen really stepped up, provided some pro bono services to help get this done, as well as the operating engineers of 542, and of course the local union of 405 iron workers who actually worked with the city's rebuild program and employing some of our youth through an incredible apprenticeship program. So their work has helped create something really meaningful, not just for our city, but for the world. And finally, to all Philadelphians, families, students, and visitors, the portal is an invitation. A personal invitation to connect, to learn, to share, and to be a part of something so much larger than ourselves. So as we move toward 2026, commemorating 250 years of American progress, let's show the world really how amazing Philly is and what shared humanity looks like. Now please join me in welcoming the other principals responsible for making this gift possible, starting with Philadelphia Native and Portals.org lead, Joe Callahan. Thank you, Michael. As Michael said, I am Joe Callahan, and I am a very proud member of the Global Organization for the Portals. This would not be possible without our founder, Benedictus, Ringali, Nicholas, and Nick, who have worked tirelessly for years to bring this portal project to reality. 
as I am also a very proud Philadelphian and a native of Philadelphia, I'll answer your first question. What parish? Holy Innocence. I'll answer your second question. What high school? I'm an 82 Falcon. And your last question, I'm an 87 Dragon. But more importantly than that, folks, this is an opportunity for us to highlight for the world what Philadelphia is all about. An inclusive community that is respectful, that is filled with love, that appreciates all cultures and all people globally. As we build out our portals network globally and we launch more and more cities, today we are connected to Dublin, Ireland. We are connected to Vilnius, Lithuania, and Lublin, Poland. Soon we will be connected to Brazil, Ethiopia, and other many parts of the world. I encourage all of you to take the time to approach the portal and interact with someone globally. What you will find is something amazing. And when I say amazing, you will feel the connection as a human being to another person somewhere around the world. The expressions on their face, the love, the peace, and the joy of recognizing that we are all one and that we are all the same. At no better time than now do we need a project like the portals to bring us together as, humani as humans on this planet, on this tiny spaceship Earth that we are all on a journey. At this point, I'd like to introduce Gar Giles, a member of our team, who is the Philadelphia ambassador for the portal, who will take us into the next step of this program. Philadelphia, are you ready? All right. So in Philadelphia, we let freedom ring with our Liberty Bell, and we're going to let freedom sing with the portal. We will have a pop-up Voice Your Vote concert here on November 3rd. Uh, to exercise our freedom, get folks motivated for November 5th. And to highlight what uh, that day may be about, we're going to introduce now uh, folks from the Dunde. If you, like a Dunde, would like to participate with a pop-up concert at the Portals, please go to portals.org, contact us. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Boomi Fernandez West, a Dunde. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for having Odunde here. Thank you, Michael. Joe, Barbara. Thank you for having Odunde. As Bar said, Odunde, we are celebrating our 50th anniversary next year. Odunde is the largest African American street festival in North America. It was created by my mother in 1975. I was a year old, strapped to her back. And I like a portal. Odunde is a portal. For 50 years, we have taken people to the beautiful continent of Africa, allowing them to be exposed to culture, to vendors, and to dance. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give you just a glimpse of what Odunia 365, celebrating our 50th anniversary with our Odunia 365 dance program. These are my instructors, Mr. Dwayne, Ms. Brizel, Ms. Brooke, and Mr. Michael. Please come. Give it up for them, everybody. Once again, on behalf of the Portals organization globally, I want to thank all of you for coming out today. We'll be here all day. Okay, Stop by, say hello to Dublin, say hello to Lithuania, say hello to Poland, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about all the exciting programs that are soon to be launching at the Philadelphia Portal. 
That's a wrap, folks. Thank you so much for coming out. Let's take a line. Everybody can take their time saying hello to Dublin.